Oh, hello, 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 <laughs> hello. Hey, everybody, what's up? So I'm back once again. Let's hope this works this time. I just did an entire vid with no volume. <laughs> I mean, my voice. <laughs> I just took you through the first complete steps of transferring pet stats. So now we're going to run through it once again. You ready? Okay, come okay. to the pet pavilion. Buy yourself a piggle. Run over there to that pretty yellow tent. Train it to adult. Go in the pet hatcher. Hatch. Come out. Train it to adult. And bam, we're here. Ha <laughs> Yeah, okay, I said more than that, but it's the basics. So, we're going to have the hatch again because I do want to show you, like, the pool, the talents, and everything while transferring. So, let's go buy a Puro Potion. Do you want me to send you one, Haley? No, I already, I got it, I got it. Okay, let's go inside and hatch again. So this is my friend Haley. Hi. She's the one that's going to be helping me transfer the pet stats I want. We're going to be making quad critical dealer. For life. Yes, for life. Because life is life. No. <laughs> so, so cheesy. Who cares? <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. So it doesn't okay. matter who goes first, who goes second. Everything is random. KI is and not that nice. I know. I will tell you a little sad story. I had 22 times with myself and only got the pet I wanted four times. So, yes, it is very random. Okay, oh. well, since I only have 17,285 gold because I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> you say, I'm broke. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm gonna get I gold. Will. I'm waiting. Hang on. I'm waiting. Okay. I can get gold. One sec. If oh. you need some, I think my desk can give you some gold. Oh, I think I can sell some of these trash um jewels in here. <laughs> oh, let's quick sell them. I don't need it, half of these. It's only thirty two thousand to hatch anyway, so it's not that bad. No. The lower the stats, the cheaper it is to hatch. Stats? What do you mean by stats? Numbers, numbers, numbers. The pedigree, everything. The lower mm. they are, the cheaper it is to hatch. Mine's 69. Is that a lot? <laughs> yeah, but... Yours is 69, but mine's only 30, so it's cheaper because I'm raising my talents. Oh, okay, okay. You know, there's some people who believe pedigree has to do with what the pet has, so... Does it? Yeah, no, no, it does not. I have, um, my little frost fang only has a pedigree of... 50 mm -hmm. so it's really low but it's a uh, quint storm resist so i think it's pretty decent for being such a low pedigree i would say so <laughs> so yeah pedigree has nothing to do with anything aside how much it costs the price it is but i'm always poor so i can hardly hatch i got mana opals I want those. Like, imagine a pet with mana and health gift. That'd okay. be amazing. See, I just made 42000 without even leaving the pet pavilion. Look at that. The queen does it again. <laughs> so now I have enough to hatch. Okay. Oh. I had enough for this process, but I went through the entire process and no volume. <laughs> So oh, sad. Okay, come on. Let's go. Okay, so the first hatch, my pet got critical hitter and attentive, which is a selfish. So now we're going to take it for the second hatch. 
the agility is already at 250. So that's max. So we're going to see here where everything is. See, my critical oh. hitter is already lined up with hers. My critical striker is right there. My life bringer. Um, your life striker. Hold on, give me one uh, life striker and life assailant are down a step, so still needs to come up. Where did that epic come from? Never mind. Okay, I got confused. Okay. Yeah, the pool just jumped around a little. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. I got the pig back. How do you know that? Because I know. I know because of the name of the pet. It says it. Oh no, I was wrong. Uh oh, I got the earth walker. No! I wanted the pig. Oh my god, I wanted the pig. I told you. They have the same name. Okay, well, this pedigree, anyways, went up to 56. Let's check the numbers. Okay, so we're at 154 now. 250, 185. It's not too bad, 195. So, what's the power? 185. So, we're going to train this to adult. And we're going to see what this one gets. Um, what did we say in the first vid? Well, let me I'm trying to remember. Uh, I just said about the critical, like where they're aligned. What do you mean? Like, um, critical striker is always above critical hitter, but the, that's only for the universal ones, and they don't always have to be together, they can be apart. But, but when critical it comes to hitter is always at the bottom, and striker is always at the top? Yeah. And for the school criticals, it doesn't matter, because I have some schools that are just different, and then... I was going to say that the dealer is always lower, like at the bottom of the criticals, but I just checked the ice. Because all of my um, quad crits, all of them usually have dealer at the bottom, and except ice. So that was weird. And it doesn't matter what you feed your snacks. You can feed your pet anything. Sometimes I go on a quick shanta pudding grind. <laughs> when we're poor. When I have no snacks, snacks and I'm meaning to train which happens yeah. quite often honestly the only thing that matters is just filling up what the talents need so yeah just make sure the ones that you need are maxed so since Nikki's working with critical she would need agility will and power but because she's also going for damage she needs strength as well to be a high enough number to give her nine damage but with transferring stats what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure everything and I mean everything matches her pet the oh exact gosh. same numbers the exact same pedigree everything and that's what you want you want to find somebody that's willing to help you willing to hatch with you enough times because from a pickle it takes about six to eight hatches. And that's just without fail pits. I prefer that though than failing epic or mega. I know because when you use like an already made pet, the pool is so mixed up and it's so different that you never know what you're gonna get. So you have a chance of failing at Epic or Mega, but when you transfer stats like this, you have, like, you know it's going to fail, but I feel a little more comfortable with going to Mega <laughs> this way. <laughs> What's so funny? You know you're going to fail. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Ruining their hopes. <laughs> Last night I made this pet. I failed so many times. Don't listen. And you guys don't listen to her. She's just negative. Negative, what? negative, <laughs> negative. No, I'm not. I'm being honest. That's what you said, not me. 
Well, yeah, everyone's going to have failed pets, but you can't let that discourage you. I mean, remember how many We're times here to took... encourage them. <laughs> remember how many times we failed our fire resist pet? That we was... made that from a first gen. I know, that was so sad. First gen. Oh my gosh. And we finished it. it. We completed it. <laughs> it took a long time. A lot of failed pets, a lot of hatches, but we finished it. It's completed. It's done. Oh, we should show them. Oh, you should showcase your pets, like the resist ones. That'd be amazing. Would it? I, w I would love to see them, but that's because I'm a pet fanatic. <laughs> and I spend... You know, you can always go check on my Twitter. They're all on my Twitter. But that, that just looks kind of stalkerish, you know? Well, you do have stalker <laughs> tendencies. It's okay. Me? <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> I have never stalked you. Yes, you have. Like? Um, when I had that big hatchathon. <sighs> but you're Nikki. Like, why wouldn't I, you know? <laughs> It's a given to go and stalk you. Oh, it's a given. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 what I'm supposed to do. Stalk you. So, so many people say, you, can sh you should use this pet, you should use that pet, you should use that pet. But from my experience, the best way to transfer exact stats that you want, use a piggle. Find somebody nice enough that's willing to help you get a good pet. Like my friend Haley here, who's nice enough to give me her quad crit. I'd given you, like, every pet you wanted. <laughs> All you have to do is just ask me. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. I never usually play the game. I just get them wrong. It takes too long to play the game. It's not worth those three points, honestly. And I, I, don't, really I don't even bored. know how many it gives. <laughs> I get bored playing it. Okay, I need some new games. Why not Grip Guardian? I use Grip Guardian. Because I like to actually play on the game. <laughs> I only get on to train and hatch. And I'm not on all the time. Yeah, Grove Guardian is for... It's good to use, like, when you're on the go and you want to train your pet. You want to finish it and see what it gets. Sure, why not? Okay, so this is the last one. Let's see what it gets. Okay. Oh, yes. We what got get? Critical Striker and Life Striker. Okay. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Here we go. I'm going to show you guys where they're at underneath here. The ultra rare, that's another critical. This epic down here, that's unicorn people. <laughs> we want to stay away from that. <laughs> that's unicorn. Oh, another thing uh, you guys should just keep in mind if your pet fails, always try to have like a backup before you take it to the next level, especially going to epic. So have what you're least... saying is they should take that ancient base before going to epic and hatch it so they have a backup in case it fails at epic. Yes, because from my experience, my own experience, I fail about 80 to 90% of the time going to epic. And it's nice to fall on my ancient base. Yes, because you do not, and I repeat, you do not want to hatch the failed pet. Yeah, those talents are sticky. It's hard to cover, so always have a backup base before going to the next level. Because I wouldn't want to hatch with a failed pet. Ever. Ever. Ever! Yeah, like, for this one, this life resist one that I have, I don't know if Nikki can even see me right now, um, I ended up having to take two to epic just to not fail at Mega. Oh, she's so cute. She has a Nikki pet. Yeah, it's so cute. 
Mm-hmm. I call. Oh, I I have a tendency to call the little saber tooth pet sausages because they're adorable and they look and like chubby like little sausages. Yeah, look at look at it. Look at it running. That, that's Let like a see. little sausage right there. Even on my Twitter, I, like it's so cute. It's adorable. Okay, so we're gonna turn this into a complete pet series for you guys. From going from a pickle to her pet, from baby I mean... to mega. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the fails. I'm gonna show you the finished product. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but this is the first vid, and I'll be back tomorrow with number two. I'm out.